the most beloved and iconic cartoon charters of the 1990s. Duck Funny, the Every Kid. The quiet, daydreaming Doug Funny was an instant hit, capturing the hearts of millions. Premiering in 1991, Doug showcased a relatable, imaginative protagonist who resonated with audiences everywhere. Doug's charming simplicity and relatable struggles made him the perfect poster child for the 90s kid. The animation style was minimalist and colorful, with each character sporting a unique color scheme. This choice lent the show a distinct visual identity that set it apart from its contemporaries. Dexter, the lovable genius. Dexter's laboratory burst onto the scene in 1996, introducing the world to Dexter, the brilliant, socially awkward boy genius. Dexter became an instant fan favorite with his thick accent and oversized glasses. His never-ending quest for scientific knowledge and mastery clashed with the chaos his older sister, Dee Dee created. The animation style was bold and exaggerated, with sharp lines and vivid colors that brought the futuristic laboratory to life. Dexter's character was unique. He was simultaneously the smartest and the most vulnerable person in the room. The Powerful Girls Sugar, spice, and everything nice, those ingredients were chosen to create the perfect little girls. However, Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction, Chemical X. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup became instant icons in 1998, showcasing girl power at its finest. The Powerpuff Girls' animation style was heavily influenced by Japanese anime, with large expressive eyes and a clean, simple aesthetic. Tommy Pickles, the Phyllis baby. In 1991, Rugrats introduced the world to Tommy Pickles, the fearless leader of a ragtag group of babies. Tommy's unflinching bravery and optimism, even in the face of the unknown, made him an endearing and inspirational character. The animation style of Rugrats was quirky and a bit rough around the edges, perfectly capturing childhood's messy, unpredictable nature. The show's unique perspective, presenting the world through the eyes of the babies, provided a fresh and entertaining viewpoint. Johnny Bravo, the lovely Lewis Hunt. Johnny Bravo swaggered onto our screens in 1997, losing charm and self-confidence. With his signature pompadour, sunglasses, and exaggerated muscles, Johnny was the epitome of an over-the-top heartthrob. Despite his overwhelming self-assurance, Johnny was notoriously unsuccessful in his pursuit of women, a fact that only made him more endearing. This lovable character was known for his boisterous personality and hilarious catchphrases. He was a perfect blend of bravado and cluelessness, giving viewers the ideal combination of humor and entertainment. Darina Morgendorfer, the Queen of Sarcasm Daria Morgendorfer, the titular character of the groundbreaking 90s MTV series Daria, made her first appearance in 1997. As a sharp-tongued and brilliant female protagonist, Daria challenged the stereotypes of teenage girls in animated shows. With her iconic round glasses, combat boots, and deadpan delivery, Daria quickly became a symbol of 90s youth culture. Daria's popularity can be attributed to her relatable struggles, insightful observations, and unique, sarcastic humor. She represented a generation of teenagers who felt misunderstood. Navigating the challenges of high school and societal expectations with wit and introspection. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Hero in a Half Shell Though they debuted in the late 80s, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles remained a staple of 90s cartoons. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo blend action, comedy, and camaraderie perfectly. Each turtle's unique personality and color-coded mask created a well-rounded team dynamic. The tough guy Raphael donned a red mask, and the fun-loving Michelangelo wore orange. Leonardo, the level-headed leader, sported a blue mask, while the inventive Donatello wore purple. Arnold, the kid with the football-shaped head. In 1996, the world was introduced to Arnold, the boy with a football-shaped head and a heart of gold. 
Arnold's calm, laid-back demeanor and unique problem-solving skills made him the go-to confidant for his friends and neighbors. Arnold's character stood out for his empathy and wisdom, which often belied his young age. Living in a diverse, inner-city neighborhood, he navigated many issues with compassion and understanding. The show tackled topics like prejudice, friendship, and family dynamics, making Arnold a true 90s icon. Rocco Rocco, the anthropomorphic wallaby, burst onto our screens in 1993, taking on the challenges of modern life in a quirky, surreal world. Rocco's modern life was praised for its unique blend of slapstick humor, clever social commentary, and bizarre, often absurd situations. Rocco's popularity stemmed from his relatable nature. As an immigrant adjusting to a new country, he faced many challenges with determination, resilience, and a healthy dose of humor. His down-to-earth, good-natured personality made him a lovable character. And his adventures struck a chord with viewers who appreciated the show's unique take on the 90s. Yoko, Woko, and Dot, the Animaniacs the Animaniacs, a trio of zany, energetic siblings, took the 90s by storm with their off-the-wall antics and rapid-fire humor. Their chaotic adventures, filled with pop culture references and clever wordplay, appealed to kids and adults alike. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot perfectly combined wit, irreverence, and charm. The siblings' popularity can be attributed to their unique blend of humor, smart, sassy, and often educational. They tackled subjects like history, geography, and even grammar with a sense of fun and excitement that kept viewers entertained and engaged. The Animaniacs were more than cartoon characters, they embodied the 90s spirit, pushing boundaries and challenging norms. See you next time. How about a like?